that's our people and they like said they want the truth to fit around what they got going on and what they feel is like. And it's not gonna work like that. And if you come in with that mindset, you're gonna get cast out. You know, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be fleshed out and you can be moved out, boy. You might not even come into us. Might not come in anyway. You just get cursed out, you get judged and get on the block. Verse 9, but when she saw the wrath of Yahweh coming upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye that dwell about Zion, Yahweh hath brought up upon me great mourning. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. With, with joy did I nourish them, but sent them away with weeping and mourning. Let no man rejoice over me, over me a widow, and forsaken of many, who for the sins of my children am left desolate, because they departed from the law of Yahweh. They knew not his statutes, nor walked in his ways of his commandments, nor trod in the paths of discipline and his righteousness. Right, so now, that's our, that's our people, man, to a T. That's Jake, undisciplined as hell, man. Mm -hmm. No type of discipline about themselves, man. Unless it's in the content, continuous wickedness. You know, they could keep that up, but anything responsible, or you know, they, they could fall off on that. Well, Let them that dwell about Zion come, and remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting has brought upon them. Right, and that's what I do, man. Tell our people to remember, man. Jake want to uh, forgive and forget because they've been beat down so damn much, man. Just want to give up. They just want to uh, be able to exist and get along, man. No, man, we tell you that. You got to remember that, man. We got to light a fire uh, under our people, man. All right, that's why the scripture say that Jacob is a, a couching lion. Who shall rouse him up? The most high is going to uh, say to, to rouse these people up, man. That's why he got his prophets out here. You know, stirring up the spirit, stirring up our people, uh, you know, debating. Cursing people out. Tell them so they face their wickedness, man. Stirring, getting get a fire on our people, man, because they need it. You know, Jacob's docile as hell right now, and I'll be down. For he hath brought a nation upon them from far, a shameless nation and, a, and of a strange language. <laughs> right, he brought a nation from far, man. He brought the so called white man uh, over there across the land to get in our ass, man. And they were shameless, man. They didn't. They had no shame about what they were doing, man. They were they raping our raping grown men, oh, gardens, man. man. You know, raping raping men's wives in front of them, raping men in front of other men. That's right. Giving our people the, the worst, the worst of the pig, man. That's right. You know, they had they had no shame about anything they did. They had no remorse. They pitied neither old men nor children. They were burning up children, killing old old people. They reverenced none of that, man. Yeah, you need to see it right here. That's, 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 that's a postcard, man. That's a face, that's a postcard. That's yeah, a they, postcard. they said he's got a postcard. They, yeah, they used to have picnics where they would basically kill a random nigga and they would have a barbecue. Yeah, picnic. Picnic. Picnic, that's what they got picnics for. Now Jake's, now every time it's 4th of July, Juneteenth, or Sunday sun, now Jake wanna fucking have a picnic and barbecue. Yeah. yeah you know, they cutting off Jake's rods and Dang. pickling them in jars. Man. Okay, you mind if I say something? It's funny that you say cutting the rods off because when you look at the picture on the back, I was looking at, I was reading a story about this. Th these, they're from Oklahoma. It was her, her son, and she had a baby. And what they, you, if, if the picture was bigger, you could see her son hanging over here and his pants down by his ankles. They had cut his rod off. And what happened was, I think they was trying to say that they stole something and the sheriff came out there to serve him a warrant or whatever. And I believe the son might have killed the sheriff. So the townspeople took him. Well, they actually took the son to jail. But then the townspeople just came and rushed to jail and, and, and brought him out of there and just hung him on that uh, on that tree. I just wanted to keep it in. Yeah, man. It's crazy, man. That so-called white man. Shameless, man. Laura, Laura and L.D. Nelson. Look that up. If you want to. Laura. Uh, kind of fast. This is Ezekiel 3 and 4. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. Right. But that, that's what the uh, men are supposed to do. Go and speak the Heavenly Father's words, man. Right. I said you had a dream, and I'm talking about you. 
prophesying out of your own heart, man, like these churches do, man. That's right, brother. You're supposed to speak the words of the Heavenly Father to our people, man. What actually comes out of this book the right way. Okay? Go ahead, man. This is going to have uh, more size on for Israel, which you said previously. Okay. Uh, for thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. All right, so what else to these, uh, these uh, other nations, man? all these other dialects, man. We're here for the, the nation of Israel, man. The Most High never ordained to have any other heathens come, come into the fold, man, because that's not who he actually made up an agreement with. Forget it. Uh, like the brought out uh, last week, uh, what does the word mean to be reconciled, man? So Latin for re, again, uh, consolare, uh, make friendly. You know, so those are the only people that the Most High deal with from the beginning when he sent his prophets uh, back then to now. To who, who he's actually waking up. We're only waking up of the nation of Israel, man. He let the nation of Israel. That's right, man. Not too many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose words thou canst not understand. Surely I has I have sent thee to them. They uh, they would have hearkened unto unto thee. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. For they will not hearken unto me. Right. Well, and the most I prepared is man for that. Like, man, you can, I'm going to send you out there, but, you know. Not yeah, these niggas ain't going to listen. They don't really want to listen to me. Uh. You know, and now, it, all the mighty works that the most I did was part in the Red Sea, had chariots washed over us late and night, uh, day and night as we were coming out of Egypt, man. All those mighty works, they actually seen chariots over their head following. They actually seen uh, a wall of water as high as that building, walking on dry land, man. Damn. They seen the mighty works and still in the midst of this. That's so that's our people, man. All day you prove people wrong, they still gotta buck up or be proud and still kinda find a way to win. Yep. They gotta be that dude. Yeah, you get you get Jake and beat Jake down in, in an argument or debate about basketball, and then it turns out bitch can't give him these hands. Yes. Like, come on, dude. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen in college, it's man. Real. You know, we just wanna do who was debating though with Nas versus Jay Z, you know. And I said, nah, you know, I like Nas. And this dude gonna say, whoever don't like, whoever don't like, uh, like I said, Jay-Z could beat up Nas, whoever don't like it can fight, uh, can fight me. I'm not, I was like, what you say, bro? He said, like I said, Jay-Z could beat up Nas in the fight. I'm like, this nigga, man. <laughs> Jay <laughs> crazy as hell, story, man. Yeah, you pulled Jay Carr, and then all of a sudden story. That's our that's <laughs> people, man. <laughs> For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces. Right, and that's what yeah. Messiah did. These men are going to make their face strong against their faces, man. Because these people out here, man, we already know these niggas ain't, ain't for the truth, man. But we just out here with the Spirit of the Heavenly Father to be ready for that. And that's, and that's how you get prepared for that, man. You're not going to fall because you told in this, in this truth. And once I deal with you, you're going, you're going through the laws, statutes, commandments. I try to live them to the best of your ability. So he, that spirit is going to rest upon you. The most I'm dealing with you. Mm -hmm. And thy forehead is strong against their foreheads. All right, so we're not going to worry about those people, man. Did you get a second address? Okay. 15. So verse 1. As an enemy harder than flint have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks. Though they be a rebellious house. Right, so most wow. of not going to uh, fear, these, fear these people, man. Well, they can't do nothing to us unless the Heavenly Father allows it, man. And if so, so what? The truth right. is still going to go out, man. Right. America is still going to be destroyed, and the elect of nation Israel is going to be delivered no matter what happens. Man. That's right. right. You know, so that, that, that once you learn the truth of that, man, it, it does make you free. You know, because when that you in that damn religion, man, you some don't rely on myself. I had to be scared. I'm like, damn, it's a possibility I can go burn forever somewhere. Like, what the fuck? You know, but when you understand the truth now, that makes you free. You don't need our word about dying. Because all you know is you're going back to the spirit world, you're going to be chilling. But you would rather be here to see the downfall of this so-called white man and get all, all the enemies that have done your people wrong yeah. and to be able to take part in uh, the ushering yeah. the You know, but either way it goes, it's, it's going to happen. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Uh, Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people. Right, speak thou in the ears of the Lord's people. That's possessing, man. Who was he dealing with? The nation of Israel. You're going to speak in the ears of the nation of Israel, man. You elect. Who's going to receive this word? 
What is it? The words of prophecy. Right, the words of prophecy, man. Actual prophecies. Going through the prophecies that are actually written down and breaking them down uh, as today, man. It's so like I said, going through, uh, that's a prophecy, man. One of the worst captivities of history, and not a lot, not everybody knows that's actually in the scriptures, man. Yeah, I didn't even know. Yeah, that, 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 that's one of the ones that kind of check out me. That, that book tripped me out, man. So, you know, so, go to church every actually, Sunday. Yeah, yeah, go to church every Sunday. Yeah. But I've never yeah, heard, no. I've never even heard the word Deuteronomy what? until I came into the truth. Right, brother. You know, right. these churches don't go into shit, man. They don't go into none of the prophecies. And talk about how they had a dream and tell you that you can tell you something smooth, man. Something that you've been aching to hurt, but that's something you're dealing with. Playing on your emotions, man. But yeah, that's probably too. When it says, uh, what it say? Jeremiah, what it says, the man, like a Martin Luther King. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I dreamed a dream. Yeah, dream. Yeah, yeah, I dreamed a dream. Yeah, Jeremiah 23, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're actually fulfilling that's that prophecy, you know? Yep, yep. You know, but that's what we're doing, man. We're actually bringing out that prophecy light in the right way and lining that up with who needs to be lined up with. Going through Deuteronomy uh, 28 chapter, those prophecies, prophecies of America being destroyed, the prophecies of all the empires coming to earth, man. We, uh, the most high men are going to go into all of that, man. The church is going to what? 5% of the book at that, and that 5% is wrong, is it? You got all these other books and ain't nobody touching, man. They might, they might as well have a couple pages when y'all walk in behind the pool pit. Might as well. Whatever. <laughs> Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And the most sides don't put it on now, man. You know, we're not gonna come out here out of our own heart and thinking that we got it. Most high is that it deals with every man according to his measure. And, and if you forget that, man, you're gonna fall and the most high is gonna expose you. You're gonna me out here looking bad as hell. As we've seen from other, other many, uh, countless uh, acts that uh, we've seen. We're talking about that half in our camp, half in the elders' camp, half the camps over there in uh, LA, Chicago. We've seen guys get puffed up because they uh, didn't acknowledge and keep, keep it in mind that the Most High gave them that knowledge. They start with the Lord over brothers and showing what they got. They uplift the next to them. And where does that get you? They get your name on a title. Such and such gets cursed out. Such and such gets rebuked. Such and such was a whole ass nigga or whatever it may be. Right. Go ahead, bro. And cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Right. They're faithful and true, man. And, that, and that's and that's what happened. The Most High uh, put the Spirit on the, the men of the Lord to write these things down, all those visions, and they're faithful and true. And that's how we know that, because they're playing out in front of our face. Mm -hmm. You're actually seeing the prophecies coming to life, man. That's right. Go ahead. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredi incredulity of them trouble thee. Right. So that, that's what we read in Ezekiel chapter 3, man. Fear not the things that they imagine against us, man. Because these people imagine, you can tell, if you can read them out, they imagine all type of stuff, man. If they could kill us and string us up, man, they be stepping over each other trying to get us, man. <laughs> but, but, but it's all about what they love us, and then now John, it's John 3.16 and all that, man. But words of love, you can tell, man, these people have hatred towards us. Putting all this stuff in the food, find out he's putting stuff in the air. That stuff will make you just want to give up. Because how do I defend against that? How do I defend against GMO food? The first thing you say, well, I'll go to Whole Foods. You start eating that, you say the same thing. I don't see no, I don't see no difference. I don't see any difference besides the price. So all that stuff can force you to just be like, man, you know what? Esau got it. There's no way I can. What the Lord is saying, don't worry about that stuff. The Lord got your back. The Lord is going to take care of the so-called white man and everything that comes with him. So fear none of them, none of those evils that he's trying to devise against you. Fear not the imagination against thee. 
brother said he marinates his so-called white man because he's a mashing all type of diabolical stuff in this nation is from night and day. You know, he's on, he can't sleep unless he came up with something, man, because why? He's trying to get that birthright back. Right. And also, these people around here, even people that you're around, they, they imagine this stuff to try to get you trapped up. You know, unless they find out what you're in, they try to store shit, your job, you know, they, they, they get a lot of matches against us as well. And they ain't do this, that's a willingness to, to unbelieve, man. Yeah, unwillingness. Yeah. Yeah. Un, un, you're unwilling to believe. Like, they fighting tooth and nail to not believe. That's right. Yeah, right. but what does Romans 3 and 3 tell you that? It's, uh, it's not going to make the faith of the, faith of the most high without effect, man. Yeah. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Right, so we're not going to let them trouble us, man. Why? Wow, like I said, because uh, Mosai has his men's back. You know? And, and somehow uh, we, we're supposed to die in the truth, and some men are going to die on this side of the truth. You know, then so be it. You just pray that both sides make it as swift as possible and don't uh, make it an agonizing death, you know? That's all you can ask for. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Right, all the unfaithful, man, are going to die in their unfaithfulness. That's right. All the people that, that uh, talk, talk, talked about us wearing dresses, saying that we too rough uh, to, to, to come into this truth, or saying we spitting and all this type of stuff, or anything like that, or our garments are wrinkled, they going to die, man. You know, they don't believe that the Lord is a so-called black man. They don't believe that uh, Jonah spent, spent uh, three days in the fish's belly. Hey, that's cool. We believe. No, Go ahead. The Lord walked the earth. Yeah, they don't believe that the Lord was an actual a man that existed. You know, all those things, man. So we're not, we're not worried about that. You know, we, we're fully persuaded in our own mind, and Lord willing, we just continue therein to the end. Oh. Right on. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. Right, so that, because that, the Lord's going to bring plagues upon the world, man. That's how they're going to die. The most high is going to end this. We're going to start seeing that. That's going to boost up our faith even more. Because all things the most high said that how these people are going to die, we're going to start seeing it all around us. Now, it's going to be a scary ass sight because no one really sees this whole bunch of death and stuff, but right. at the same time, it's going to be like, damn, the most high said it's going to happen. So the man that's going to do it, they're going to gird up. They just sit in the seat like that, see? See, I told them, see? You know? And they're going to be looking for us in that thing. But then it's going to be too late. Right? Because that family of the world is going to come out. To what is left is going to have that knowledge. going to be able to govern, govern and move through this madness with the scriptures, man. The rest of the people are going to be caught out here in darkness trying to find the answer. You're going to turn the corner and get, get probably mauled by a tiger from Dallas Zoo or some shit. You never know what's going to happen that day. I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Right. So like I said, we're going to start over. We're going to tell our people where to go, man, because that's what's coming, man. The Most High is about to bring serious sword, famine, death, and destruction. Death in all types, in millions of ways. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Why? Because wickedness has... Wickedness has... Uh, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole right. earth. It exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. It didn't just pollute it, it exceedingly polluted the whole earth. This place is completely and utterly through. It's full of wickedness, man. Your, it's, your, 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 your wickedness is at every turn. Your death is at every turn, man. You make one wrong decision. That's why the scripture referred to this walk as it's pretty much a tightrope. There's only one man can do at a time. Because there's so much wickedness that surrounds us day in and day out. And you're in this you fight, steady fight in this flesh. You gotta work. Women ain't dressing right. So you got to yourself, you might be looking there, you see they got a wedding ring, you're like, oh shit, man. You know, then you gotta repent. You know, you gotta watch what food you eat. Even if it says uh, turkey, hell, egg, hell, egg, egg, case and pork. Mm -hmm. You know, so every aspect, man, you breathing, breathing in uh, and defile yourself by just breathing. Oxide. Yeah, you breathe in, they spray in the, the, the chemtrails, the barium oxide, drinking water out of, out of plastic bottles that have chemicals in it. This uh, yeah, yeah, uh, estrogen and, and different hormones in the food. So everything is, we're so surrounded by witness, man, that <laughs> every, it don't demise is pretty much at every turn. Yeah, you got a deal. Christmas tree just sitting behind you and shit. They just are wrecking pieces up everywhere. This is utter complete witness, man. So this place has to go, man. Why? Because the root was so-called white, man. All he did was come around here and he put everything up in his root and shit. Okay, under his rule, everything. That's why the earth is in the state that it's in, man. You don't even know how to take care of the land. Steady, like I said, steady spraying chemicals. Uh, 
instead you plow the land year after year, not giving them land sad, not giving them rest.